Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel High Speed Board Design. Today we are going to discuss about PCB transmission lines. PCB stands for Printed Circuit Boards. This is the table of content. We are going to discuss about the introduction about the transmission lines. Then we are going to see what are the type of transmission lines with respect to the characteristic as well as the target impedance. Then we are going to discuss about the different type of transmission lines with respect to their structures. So this is the introduction to transmission lines. So the circuit model of a transmission line can be uh, can be created in the form of RLGC where R is the resistance of the transmission line, L is the inductance, C is the capacitance across the transmission line and the ground and G is the conductivity. So a model of a transmission line can be created like this and there are majorly two type of transmission lines one is lossy and the other one is lossless transmission lines and we are going to differentiate both lossy and lossless transmission lines by using this formula for characteristic as well as the target impedance so if you see we have already discussed like there are two type of transmission lines in terms of impedance profile one is lossy transmission line and the other is lossless transmission line. So let us quickly discuss about the lossy transmission line. So the characteristic impedance of a lossy transmission line includes the value of R, L, G and C. And when we talk about the a lossless transmission line, currently the formula for Z0 is underscore R plus J omega L upon G plus J omega C. So this part is a lossy transmission line, the impedance of a lossy transmission line. Now if we discuss about a lossless transmission line, in case of a lossless transmission line, the value of R becomes very 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 lesser than or infinitesimally lesser than L and the value of G becomes very less very less than C. So both of these values get ignored or we can say they are infinitesimally small so the values become proactively zero. So if we put the value of R and G as zero in the formula of lossy transmission line, we will get the formula for lossless transmission line that states that Z0 is equal to underscore L by C. Okay, so Z0 and ZC are both same. They call it as target impedance. You might have seen transmission line impedance. You might have seen characteristic impedance. So everything is same when we talk about this kind of transmission lines. So when we talk about the type of transmission line in terms of their structures, there are majorly divided into four parts. One is coaxial lines. Second is microstrip lines. Third is strip line. And the fourth thing is the coplanar waveguides. Let us quickly discuss about the coaxial lines. So coaxial lines are circular in shape. So this is a cro cross-sectional view of a coaxial transmission line. So in case of a coaxial transmission line, there will be a central wire, conductor wire. We call it as trace. This is the trace area where I'm pointing right now. So this is the trace area. We call it as the signal layer or the trace area. And the outer circle is the conductor written path. So the outer path is this one. This is the outer path and we call it as the written path or we call it as the ground. So both are same things uh, if even if you call it as a written path or you can call it as a ground and the dielectric material is being filled between both of them in the space provided as I am showing here. So this is how a coaxial cable looks like. So in case of PCBs, coaxial cables are majorly used with the help of connectors in order to connect two or more PCB boards together. So you might have seen multiple type of book connectors in the boards and those connectors are connected using the coaxial cables. So that is the first type of transmission line which is used in the PCB designs. Let us quickly discuss about the microstrip transmission lines. So these are one of the majorly used transmission lines in PCB designs. So whenever the trace is being implemented on the top or the bottom layer of the of the PCB board at that time these top and bottom layer uh, traces are known as microstrip lines. So if you notice here in the first part this blue part is the trace which is the conductor 
and the green part is the dielectric material that they have used so it is on the top layer so this layer is top layer this layer is layer 2 so in the PCB stack up whenever a trace is implemented on the top or else it is implemented on the bottom layer these layers these layered uh, traces are known as micro strip uh, traces okay so the major disadvantage of micro strip traces are uh, so if, if we come if we compare the micro strip traces with the strip line traces then some kind some part of the energies are transmitted may be coupled into the space adjacent space this adjacent space some kind of uh, some in some part of the energy gets coupled okay and if we talk about microstrip is also divided into two parts one is microstrip other is embedded microstrip so how embedded microstrip is done so uh, you might have heard about uh, about one more thing called called solder mask so solder mask is being used and solder mask is being used on the embedded uh, on the top of it and the the remaining space is being filled with the epoxy so these microstrip lines are known as embedded microstrip lines which has epoxies connected to them okay let us quickly discuss about the strip line transmission lines so strip line transmission lines are the majorly used transmission lines uh, in the pcb designs as i earlier mentioned there are two type of transmission lines that are majorly used one is the microstrip which is on the top and the bottom layer of the board and then comes the strip line transmission lines in the strip line transmission lines are embedded inside the board inside the stack up of the board for example whatever the traces are are added inside the board except the top and bottom layer all of these are considered to be the strip line board the strip line traces for and these are also divided into three major categories out of which centered strip line is the most used okay then comes the off centered strip line and then comes the dual orthogonal strip lines so the dual orthogonal strip lines are the least used strip lines in the market and centered strip lines are the most used uh, strip line uh, in the market so uh, this is how a strip line this is a cross sectional view of a strip line trace the blue color line here shows the trace a cross sectional view of a trace and the green color green part is the pcb dielectric material that they have used okay so there is a presence of both top and both bottom shields provided to, in order to provide good isolation so in case of high speed board design in case of high speed board traces so the tra strip line traces are majorly used let us discuss about the coplanar waveguides so coplanar waveguide structure has a signal trace and a written part conductor on the same layer side by side to each other so on the pcb you will notice one thing so this part as you can see in the diagram and this part these all the three parts are the trace part and out of which the middle one is the trace that is the signal layer and the written path these two are the written path I hope you understand. So coplanar, the name itself says coplanar means all both the both the trace as well as the written path are on the same layer. Okay, the signal trace is at the center and surrounded by the two adjacent out ground planes. Okay, as you can see here, ground plane. These two are ground planes, and this one is the coplanar. So the PCB dielectric is located underneath them. This is the PCB dielectric and coplanar is a type of uh, transmission line which can be depicted by uh, micro strip as well as strip line, uh, strip line traces. Okay, so a strip line as well as micro strip can also be a coplanar structure. So thank you for watching this video. It was a short tutorial in order to make you understand about how the transmission lines are made and what are the different type of transmission lines that are used in the PCB boards. So this is just for the beginners. If you want us to create more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and do like and uh, put up your comments. Yeah, your comments are very useful to us. Thank you and have a nice day.